Coach Freeman is such a, a, um, a walking bundle of knowledge that I knew he was going to go a little bit longer this morning. Okay, before I get started, I want to mention um, some of our major sponsors that we have. Louisville Slugger. And we have Diamond Baseballs. And we also have, what else do we have? And ATEC, of course, we're wearing the ATEC shirts last night. And USA Athletes International. Okay. Okay, guys, I'll get out here and talk. And, uh, we'll, uh, my first session this morning will have to do with, specifically with base running. My first session this morning will be specifically with base running. Base running is a very important part of the game, and a lot of games can be won. At, at this level of base running. Probably more at the, I would say, the, the club level and, of course, the junior level and cadet level. I think uh, in many games, especially uh, in games where there's good pitching, when you get into a, a low-scoring game, base running is very important. Uh, especially, I think it was three or four years ago when we went to wooden bats. I know, I know uh, still, I believe the B team still use the, the aluminum bats, uh, do they? I also know, uh, I believe that in the, the interleague now in Croatia, they're, they're using the wooden bat. So my point is, a lot of the games, the scoring in the games is much lower scoring. So with that in mind, I think coaches and players, it's, it's important to understand that we have to teach the running game in our practices and our, in, in our games. Okay, you guys have your forms? I'll try and stay, I, I don't have the overhead, but I will try and stay in line pretty much um, on your forms. Except for on the back side, I am going to say uh, part four, I will move down behind part six. Okay. Alright, baseball or base running for how important is for? Um base running at the bullet bit of it. And I tell kids, um, I tell older players, I tell younger players that I want to get lower in uh starching ratchet, lower in latching ratchet, my quite a lot. Imagine this guys. The one hundred meter dash of the Olympics. Uh first time to the property, uh stomach row each print in uh Olympia. I think there's maybe eight, eight runners. <laughs> All eight runners take the same amount of strides during the race. So you ask the question, 
Um, how can one person win the race and, the, and somebody else come in seventh or eighth place? A teraz sa opýtate, ako je možné, že niekto z nich to vyhrá a niekto iný sa bude siedmi na dôvodný dobe týchto cieľov. The answer, of course, is probably longer stride. A odpoveď je tá, že asi niekto robí dlhšie kroky. Form is important, it's so important that, that there's little things for the base runner that, that make you a more complete base runner. A ten spôsob štýl, ako beháte, je niečo, čo vás ako bežcov spraví kompletnejší. Long stride. A dlhý krok. Landing on the ball of the foot. A došľapávanie na špičku chodidiel. When we're running, it's very important. Coaches, look at your players. Do they have the flying elbows or are they more of a lift? Kauči, keď bežíme, je veľmi dôležité. Pozerajte sa na to, či majú tie lietajúce lakte alebo či pracujú tými rukami pri tele. Pozerajú sa na prvú metu, pozerajú sa na cieľ. Trošku to poláme, pôjdeme z domácej na prvú, z prvej na druhú, z druhej na tretiu, z tretej na tretiu. First of all, take a look at your your hitters, and you can check out their form. Pozrite sa na svojich palkarov a kontrolujte ten štýl, aký majú. And something you can do very simply. A niečo môžete spraviť veľmi jednoducho. Is have them take a bat in the batter's box, take their swing. A dajte im palku, nech švihnú v tom palkarskom boxe. And stopwatch them. Put them on a stopwatch from. And you can throw wiffle balls at them. Môžete im napríklad aj wiffle balls, zoberte stopky a stopnite im. Contact, start your watch on a contact here. Contact lopty je štart na prednáných stopkách. And then end it when they hit first base. A samozrejme zastavíte v momente, keď dôsť v prvej mesi. Now, one thing that scouts look for, coaches look for is... Jedna vec, na čo si dávajú trenery alebo scouty pozor. From time, from contact point, from here, to first base. What is a good time? What do you think? A čo je podľa vás dobrý čas na tomto? Na toto si dávajú tí scoutie trenery pozor. Čo je podľa vás dobrý čas? I know Ronnie in his younger days, when he was a player, could maybe get down the baseline in 4.0 seconds. Is that right, Ronnie? A verím to. Myslím si, že keď Ronnie bol za svojich mladých lepších čas ešte hrával, takže dokázal zabetnúť tú vzdialenú za 4 sekundy. Ronnie vraví, že to je 309. Obviously, it's more of an advantage for a left-handed hitter to get down the first base. Vlastnosti majú lavaci balkari trošilinku výhod, že sú tie mete bližšie ako práve. Okay, now really important because a lot of you, you know, most of you know this. Hopefully, you know about running form and some of the drills and so forth. A je to je to no i zatom vedie vedie niečo o tom ako sa má behať štýlovo vedie niečo o tom behaní. Okay. I noticed here there's a, my wife made a slight error. It says through the bag and break down. That should be break down, not break dance, but break down. Okay, now, after contact, and I tell runners, this is very important. Po kontakte, a toto hovorí bežcovi veľmi dôležité. After contact of the bat, the bat, the ball, you're going down the line, you're going to glance at the ball. Maybe the first 10 feet. Hovorím hráčom o tom, ako vyštáte sa pálko, ale pozerám chvíľku na tú loptu, možno po 50 metr. 3 metr, ok. At that time, make the decision whether you have to start making a turn or you're going to run through the bed. V tom momente si spravíte úsudok o tom, či máte bežať priamo na metu, či to bude spracované v výklade, alebo či to prejde do auty, od 2 tým pánom robíte ten bananový nábeh na druhú metu. What what I don't like to see batter runners doing is staring at the ball the whole time they're going down to first base. That's not necessary. Toto nerad vidím je, keď hráči pozerajú celý čas na tú lopku, na bok. To nie je potrebné. Okay. And many runners, as they're going down to first base, get too wide. They get way too wide. And that is not necessary. A mnohí, mnohí hráči, keď beža na prvú metu, sú príliš široký. Oni si berú ten nábeh príliš veľký, čo nie je potrebné. What I like to tell the runners when they're going down the first base. A čo chcem povedať hráčom, keď bežia na prvú metu? Stay slightly on the right side of the baseline. A ostaňte iba trošilinku na pravej strane od metovej čiary. Od pavu. Tesne od pavu. Now here's the 
here's where the first base coach comes in. First base coaches, when you are there, and make sure first base coaches that you understand your responsibilities. A toto je čo musíte vedieť, ako toto by mali vedieť prvom aj na kauči na prvej mete. Musíte si uvedomiť to, za čo ste zodpovedli. You don't have that many, just a few. Nemáte toho tak moc, iba troška. And one of them is to tell your runner either through the bag, through the bag, through the bag, or to outside, outside, outside. A jedna z tých vecí, čo musíte povedať bežcovi je, či má šprintovať priamo cez metu a prebiehať ju, alebo či má nabiehať na tú druhú metu. OK. Let's talk about through the bag first. It's a sprint. Okay. It's very important. Most young runners, most young runners, in their minds, they slow down beforehand. Because of that, they're losing maybe one tenth, two tenths, three tenths of a second. You must focus on the finish line, and the finish line is first base. Musíte byť zameraný na tú celú rovi, celú čiaru, a to je práve tá meta. Slow down, put the brakes on after you get to the bag. Pomalte a zastavujte, brzdite až potom, keď prešprintujete tú prvú metu. Then when you get through the bag, what we say break down, not bread down. Break down and then take a glance to your right. Hey, takže uh, potom ako náhle ju prešprintujete, začnite brzdiť a pozerajte sa doprava. Okay. Now what? Why should we glance to the right? Just Prečo by sa mali pozerať doprava? Obvious reasons. Yes. Possible overthrow, overthrow. Yes, possible overthrow something down. First base coach, lopta, ktorá prejde za prvou metou. First base coach, you have to be aware of this, and we have a very good drill that we do. And what I will do is I will just stand by pitcher's mound. A prvá kauč na prvej mete musíte si to uvedomovať. Máme jeden veľmi dobrý drill, ktorý na to robíme. Kauč sa postaví niekde ku nahazovaciemu kopcu. I can show this in the gym later on today when we do base running drills. Môžeme to ukázať treba v nesportovnejších, keď budeme robiť base running. And I will be over here by the pitcher's mound. Here's first base, and I will have a first baseman. Budem tu niekde na kopci, alebo pri kopci, tu mám niekde prvo metára. And I will just, I will throw the balls at the runners coming down the baseline. A budem hádzať loptu v tom momente, keď ten bez dobieha po tej prvo metovej čiare. And I tell my first baseman either catch it or let it go. A dám najavo tomu prvo metárovi, či to má chyť, alebo či to má pustiť, nehať prejsť. And the runner simply has to find the ball, he has to read the ball. A bežať s tým pádom trénuje to hlavne tej lopty. OK, so, one thing. Now, when you're going down the line and you see that the ball is outside the infield. A teraz druhá vec. Keď vidíte, že bežite na prvom metru, vidíte, že tá lopta pôjde do zadného pôjde. Then you need to know in your mind that I have to be taking, I have to be thinking about taking a turn. A v tom prípade musíte prinútiť svoj mozog, aby premyšľal, myslel na to, že musíte robiť ten baránový návod. You probably have never heard of this man. He's in the Hall of Fame. His name is Lou Brock. A zrejme ste nikdy nepočuli o tomto mužovi. Je to zase jeden, ktorý je dôvodne slávy a volá sa Lou Brock. Probably one of the greatest base runners ever in the major leagues. A je to taký pravdepodobne jeden z najlepších alebo najlepší bežec na metách v histórii major league. And I heard Lou Brock speak many years ago at a clinic in Wichita, Kansas. Pozeral som ho, sledoval som čo Yes, and and Lou Brock talks about the small turn, the tight turn. A Lou Brock hovorí o tom malom krátkom odločení sa tom nábe. And you know, I used to be taking the one that would say, okay, you have to take a big banana route turn. Ja som bol predtým ten, ktorý proste si myslel, že treba nabrať, okay, zoberieme nabehne, že si zoberiem si mobilkom ten banánový nábe, kde ideme robiť. I realized that the runner does not need to do that. Very simply. Poznal som, že bežci to nemusia robiť. Veľmi jedno. What I tell the runners is, when they're going down the first base, to just slightly veer out here. To, čo hovorím bežcom, je, ak bežia na prvom metu, aby len trošku tak nadele vybočili na to. Now, be careful, because I see a lot of my younger players do this. Ale buďte veľmi opatrne, preto som videl mnohých svojich mladých hráčov robiť toto. Coaches, don't let them Jab with the left foot here, and then go out. 
A kauči nenechajte ich tam vykročiť najprv dnu tou hlavou nohou a až potom ísť. Hey? Just like in, in American football, when receivers will fake this way and then go to the other side. Yeah, I'm going to talk about it, when you bring the ball, you can see the ball on one side, and then go to the other side. We want the base runner to gradually veer out, just veer, veer, veer. We want to make the base runner gradually veer out, just veer, veer, veer. Now, they have already established their turn. Now, they have already established their turn. As they get the first base, They will hit the inside corner of the base. Oni, oni sa, oni sú vybočení a v momente, keď nie je to prvú metu, treba aby sa dotkli toho vnútorného roku medy. And as they hit the inside corner of the base, drop the shoulder just slightly. A v momente, jak, jak sa dotknú toho vnútorného roku medy, treba aby to rameno uh, znížili len trošku. Okay. As they drop the shoulder, that will square, that will square their shoulders somewhat so that they're now in a better position to get to second base. Ako na to rameno znižia, to pri tom došlapnutí vytočí pozíciu ich ramien a sú v lepšej pozícii smerom ku druhej mente. Okay. And, you know, some people say right foot, left foot. Niektorí ľudia vravia šlapať pravou nohou, niektorí ľavou nohou. I don't think that's important. I think what is important is... Nemyslím, že je to dôležité. Myslím, že dôležité je... The inside corner of the base, and not the top. Je vnútorný rok medy a nie vrch medy. Now this afternoon, if we have time, I'll show you in the gym. We have very simple drills. I'll put a bucket here. Dnes po obede, keď budeme v dolce, čo môžeme veľmi jednoduchý drill, ak budeme na to čas, položím tam kýbal s loptami, ja budem pravý kýbal s loptami. And a bucket out here, between first and second. A nejaký kýbal tu nám, medzi prvou a druhou. And I want my runners to stay inside the buckets. Inside the buckets. Chcem, aby moji bežci ostali vnútri, aby neprebehli poza tie kýble. Actually, this bucket here, they will be outside, and this bucket here will be inside, but we will show that this afternoon. A tam ten bude vonku, a ten to bude vnútri, ale on nám to pohobí. Okay, now you're on first base. Congratulations. Teraz sme na prvé mezi. Gratulujem vám. Dostali sa tam. Už teda. First base coach, this is where you come in and say a few things. You say a few things to your base runner. Toto je vec, keď im vlastne musí prísť dechávať na prvé mete a povedať nejaké veci tým svojim bežstvom na mete. Remind him of certain situations. Pripomente im niektoré určité situácie. How many outs? Koľko majú autov? Outfielders arms. Aký majú outfieldry ruky? Force out situations. Aká je situácia, čo sa týka tlačených, šlapaných autov? Pitcher's moves. Ako sa, aký má pohyb nahadzovať, čo sa týka pikochov. First base coach always be aware of certain situations. Kauč na prvé mete musí vždycky si dávať pozor na tieto situácie. OK. Now, base runner. A teraz bež, bež si na mete. You have to know your situations, you have to know your strengths, you have to know your third base coach. Musíte poznať svoju situáciu, musíte poznať svoje vlastné schopnosti, musíte poznať toho kauča na prvé mete. This is very simple, but oftentimes we don't do this. Ah, it's a very easy, but we very often don't do it. Where are we when we take a sign? Where should you be when you take the sign? Ah, just because we don't take the signal. Ah, the question is, where are you when you take the signal? On the base. Name. Okay. Now we have two types of leads. We have a primary lead. And a secondary lead. A teraz máme dva spôl, dva, dva druhý výber. Máme primárny výber a sekundárny výber. Okay. The primary lead should be basically somewhere around one step, maybe two steps. A primárny výber je niečo medzi jedným až dvomi krokmi. And then body link. A potom dĺžka tela. Now, a good distance, I think for base runners, if you are a good base runner, you're a quick base runner, you're thinking about stealing the base, ak ja si myslím, že dobrá vzdialenosť pre dobrého bežca, ak ste dobrým bežcom a chcete krátiť mety, myslia na to, že ste krátiť mety? I would say 4 meters. By som povedal 4 metre. That is extending a little bit. Je to trošku možno prehnané. Safer lead probably 3,5 meters. A bezpečný výbej je možno 3,5 metre. When you are stealing, Don't don't always take the same distance in your lead. Ah, keď trénujete, nemôžete vždy ten istý tú istú zdialenosť obmedziť. Because a lot of times, when you are taking, if you take a big lead right off 
from the beginning. The pitcher is going to think, well, obviously you're tipping him off. You're going to tell, be telling the, or the, the pitcher that there's a good chance that you'll be stealing. Hey, uh, tak dávate najavo uh, tomu nahadzovačovi, aby si uvedomil, že asi teda jedný krát, že si ma na vás dávať pozor. OK. There's certain things, obviously, as, as a stealer, as a base runner, you need to know about. Sú niektoré veci, ktoré ako zlodeji med uh, musíte vedieť, ako bežci by ste vedieť mali. There's one thing that we always do with, with our pitchers. Uh, Je to vec, ktorú vždycky robíme s našimi nahadzovačmi. Uh, as a base coach, as a third base coach, or a first base coach. A ako to robí to tretie metrovi, uh, kaž na tretie metrie, bo na prvé metrie. We will time the pitcher set when he starts here and by the time the baseball gets to the catcher's glove. A stopujeme čas od momentu, keď začne hýbať ten nahadzovač keď, uh, pri nadhode, po moment, keď tá lopta uh, narazí do catcherovej rukavice. And what we're looking for is a pitcher that is somewhat slower than the average pitcher in his set time, probably 
Máme nakopčovaný signál, ideme kráť. Na čo by som mal pozerať ako bežec? Poznám tú Vždy hovorím svojom bežcom, aby sa pozerali na prednú stranu a na nadzor. Ak nie je nikto na tretej miete, Obviously, if the pitcher lifts up here, he has to go home. That's why I like to tell my runners, just focus on front side. Focus here. If the back foot comes up, I know a lot of coaches say, you know, look at the back foot, look at the back foot. Well, if the back foot comes up, yes, he is going to pick. But most pitchers will pick here. They'll jump turn here. Ako náhle dvíha niekto tú zadnú stranu, tak v tom momente robí pichov. Ale niektorí kaže, že hovorí, pozrieť sa na tú stranu. Lenže mnohí tí nahadzovači robia ten pichov, ten preskakovaný. Čiže v podstate naraz súbežne robia aj to prednou a zadnou nohou. Čiže zase má zmysel pozrieť sa na prednou stranu. Takže užívame tú prednou stranu. First of all, when I have my lead, I want to be on the back corner of the base. I don't want to have an inside lead here. Že chcem byť na zadnom rohu tej mety, keď robím ten výbek. Nechcem byť pred metou. Chcem byť zadný. Možno 1,5 metra za metou. Možno metr za metou. A vracajme si späť na metu. A toto je to, čo robíme ako svoje takú rozstričku a rozbehanie, povedzme, každý druhý deň. A pracujeme na dvoch spôsobov vracania sa späť. Jedna je ľavá noha a vytočenie sa. A druhý je tento proste. Idem dolu, zaslajdujem a dotknem sa na to. A vždy, keď to robíme, je jedno, či sa vracajme nohou, alebo či to dáme tým slajdom, pozeráme sa opäť do obsadu smerom k tomu plotu. A tu si urobíte agresívny výbeh. Musíte byť pripravení proste ísť do a slajdovať. O tom, ako vyštartujete, jedna vec, vždy hovorím svojim hráčom, rezem na nich, kričím na nich. V tom momentu, keď robíte ten štart, čo máte robiť? To, čo robíme, je takéto pozrite sa, len také mrknutie sa na tú domácu mer. Prečo to robí? Na čo sa pozeráme? Pozeráme sa na kontakt, pretože keď tá lopta je otvárna do vzduchu, máme problém. A vy tu sedíte a hovoríte si, no jasné, viem to, Poznáme. Ale viete čo? Väčšina z vás to aj tak nerobí. A mal som rád, že to je trénoval roky, naozaj roky. A robili sme ten tréning na tréningu a oni proste vyštartovali a nepozorili sa. Je to jedna veľmi pojúta vec. Mali by ste byť schopni to spraviť. A keď to ale, keď sa strátite, keď to strátite, a neviete na stôlku. Kto je váš najlepší kamarád? Váš najlepší kamarád je ten kauč na tretie mene. Pozerajte sa na kauč na tretie mene. A vy mu to musíte dávať najavo. Vy mu to musíte ukazovať svojim pohybom, svojim kričaním, čo má robiť. First base coach, make sure that's another reminder. Make sure you tell your runner to look in, to peek in. 
A káuš na prvé mete za seba šou robotou je pripomenúť tomu bežcovi. Pozri sa dnu, nezabudni. OK. Something I heard in San Diego two weeks ago at a coaches convention. Niečo, čo som počul v San Diego pred dvoma týždňami na nejakom stretnutí kaučov. And I like this. I like this idea. A veľmi sa mi to páčilo. Mám páč sa mi tá vyštenka. I've never taught this, but what the person in San Diego, the coach in San Diego was saying is, if the catcher is giving a two or a three an off-speed sign, I'm running. Hej, a povedal to keď kauč San Diego, že túto myšlenku, o ktorej som pre nich nepočul do teraz, že keď ukazuje catcher 2, 3, 4 signály na pomalé lopty, beží. OK. Now, oftentimes catchers will not give a series of signs with just you on first base. They will give a series of signs with a runner on second base. A pretože catcher nikdy neukazuje sériu signálov, keď je bežec iba na prvé mete. Ukazuje tu sériu signálov len vtedy, keď je catcher na druhé, keď je bežec na druhé mete, keď sa mu tie signály dajú čítať. And if you see that, that definitely a breaking ball or, you know, some type of off-speed pitch is coming and you have good speed, a ak vy teda viete, že príde nejaká pomáha lopta, či už čiňa, alebo nejaká točka, a ste pri tom rýchli bežnici. A máte povolené bežať, hej? Je to dobrý čas vyšprintovať. Je to, je to na vás. Toto je práve to. Poďme sa baviť o lavách, o poďme sa baviť o pravách. Obviously a little bit tougher on the left. Uh, skutočnosti je trošku ťažšie uh, behať na lavaku. And the left hander can, he can freeze you as a runner a lot longer than the right hander can. Uh, ten lavák je schopný vás tam podržať trošičku dlhšie ako ten pravá. Now we have a little saying with our base runners, with, with the Croatian guys and also my base runners back in the States. Máme jedno porekadlo uh, o tom, <coughs> Ak je lavák veľmi pomalý, we will put on what we call a first move steal. Budeme robiť to, čo voláme krádež na prvý pol. And the reason is, even if he picks, a dôvod je, že napriek tomu, aj keď ten pickov spraví, if you have good speed, I might have a little close. Chances are you can outrun the second baseman or shortstop and the ball to second base. Ak máte dobrý chod, máte veľkú šancu predbehnúť tú lovstvu, kým sa dostane k druhometerovi alebo k svojich. Case in point. Two years ago, American League playoffs. Do you guys get the playoffs here? Dva roky, dva roky to zadu. Predno rokmi playoff American League. Did anybody see the playoffs between the Yankees and Oakland? Videl niekto pred dvoma rokmi playoff medzi Yankees a Oakland? Chuck Knobloch was on first base. Chuck Knobloch was on first base. I forget who was pitching for Oakland. Do you remember Bruno? Zabudol som do Donahazova za Oakland. I think it was Zito or somebody. And Zito was very slow to first base. A bol dosť pomalý na prvú metu. Knobloch had his lead. The left hand was out there. And Zito was slow to first. Knobloch just took off on a first base. First move steal. Okay. Bol pomal ten nahazovač, že nám vás dobral veľký výbej a vyšprintoval hneď na ten prvý pol. Now, these are little things in baseball that help win this, this series. This particular game which help the Yankees go on to win the series. A toto sú maličkosti, ktoré dokážu pomôcť vyhrať zápas. A aj táto jedna maličkosť pomohla vyhrať tento jeden zápas, čo pomohlo vyhrať v konečnom posledku celú série. Many times, you know, you hear things and hear things and hear things. I know that, coach. I know that. Here's a little tip. Here's a little tip. Knobloch knew, and a lot of good base runners know, when he took off for second base, he went inside the baseline. Inside, just about one meter this way, to the left. That's a small thing, that Knobloch knew, and that Knobloch knew, that when I started, that I'm going to go inside, Dnu do infieldu, kusok do infieldu. Kto je prvom mečom? Kto je prvom mečom? Now he plays for the Yankees. Giambi. Giambi is a righty or a lefty? Lefty. No. He's a righty. Now. No, he's a righty. I'm sorry, he's a lefty hitter. Yes, he's a righty tour, correct? Okay. He takes the pick. Kiki, Kiki to loftu. All he sees. 
seeing is Nablok going to his left. Všetko, čo vidí, je, že Nablok beží do, do lava. And I forget who's the shortstop for the Yankees. Uh, yeah. 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 The Yankees, Oakland. Uh, yeah. 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 Tejada, right? Tejada has to come over here. And if you remember, Martin, you remember the play? Gian Bistro went all the way out here. Tejada couldn't feel it. It went in the left field. <laughs> Nablok went in safely. Zatienil to tomu tej spojke, ten príhod, ten príhod išiel doľava, tá spojka stačila tú loptu chytiť na strán, napriek tomu sa aj to nepodarilo, tá loptu bola prehodená do zadného spolu. I can't remember what the score was, but I know the Yankees won that game, I think by one run, it was a close game. Nepamätám sa, aký môj výsledok toho zápasov, ale mám taký pocit, že ten západný druhý spojej ten bol, že to bol veľmi tesný. OK, now, little things. Little things in baseball, wooden bat games, little things help you win, base running things help you win. Malé veci, malé veci v baseball hrám berený pálka. Malé veci rozhodujú o tom, či budete úpečne napsiť to vlastne. Real quick, I'll talk about this this afternoon on first and third situations. Veľmi rýchlo, budem sa tom baviť dneska po obede na situáciu 1, prvá treťa na pálce. On the first and third situation, I love the delayed steal. I love it. Na situáciu 1, prvá treťa na pálce, milujem. On the younger levels, maybe not, or even at the club level, with an average catcher. A good delayed steal is very, very uh, effective. Primary lead, when the pitcher starts his movement to home plate, then we are going to go with three good ako na nahadzovač začne robiť svoj pohyb, urobíme tri agresívne šaply. A to znamená, že vlastne sa rozbiehame a hneď potom, ak ich spravíme, šprintujeme ďalej na druhú metu a to sa deje v príbežnom momente, keď keďže príjmam to. Šanca je v tom, že strednopolia, to znamená dvojka spojka, ani len nevedia o tom, že viac kradne. The catcher gets the ball, and first of all, there's a runner on third. He has to check. Oftentimes, in a first and third situation, I'll talk about this this afternoon, but the catcher won't even throw it. Now you have two runners in scoring position. Okay, good situations to run on F here. We talked about the counts, or no, we did we talked about the times, 1.5 or 1.4 or more. Coaches, good counts to steal on. I love these teraz ostave. Kauči, dobrý stav na nakaučovanú krádež je. Three and one count. Three a jedna. Tri bol jeden strach. Three and two count. Tri a tri tri bol i dva strach. Double steal. Dvojka krádež. Three and two count, runners on first and second. Naplný stav, bežci na prvé a druhé. One and two count, one ball, two strikes. Jeden ball, dva strajky. Or first pitch. Ale prvý nápad. Okay. Let's go back side here. Tags we'll talk about later with the multiple letters. Now, let's go, let's skip this and let's go second base to third base. Okay, so we'll go park five here. Now, when I'm on second base, I'd like my runners to get what I call a deep, a deeper lead. Behind the base. Now, my feeling on this basically is by getting a deep lead, by getting a lead that's deep, I already have my turn made. To, čo sa mi to páči, je to, že keď som hlboko za druhou metou, tak už som si vlastne urobil ten nábeh na tú domácu metu, aké by ten pán robil. Now, you ask the question, well, coach, what about the bunt if you're going to sacrifice bunt or what if you're going to steal? Then I simply go from the deep lead and I step forward one or two steps. Otázka je, dobre, kaoč, ale čo potom, keď sa ulieva, alebo keď mám krátnu tú treťu metu, ktorý je tu jednoduché, posuniem sa kúsok dopredu a zase na tečie. OK, now, a couple of things, as a runner from second or third. A teraz pár vecí, keď som bežiť na druhé a chcem smerom na zvedu. Oftentimes pitchers will, 
this is something coaches we should look for. Watch me. What am I doing? What have I done? What I what have I not done? I have only looked how many times, Ryan? Once. One time, every time. Many pictures will do this. And of course, uh, coaches, we should always teach our pitchers to, to change our looks. But many times you will have a pitcher that only looks once and he's he's also, many times, because the coach has said, you've got to vary your looks, you've got to look more than once sometimes, they get in the habit of just look twice. And the point we're trying to make is, pitchers oftentimes will will show you, they won't vary their looks, they will show you, they will be very obvious about what they're doing. Okay, something else. Now, I, I, on the first, on the first, what we call a, a one look steal, as soon as that pitcher turns back, you can actually start taking a little bit more of a lead, maybe another step or two. Don't start your break, but you know when he's going to go. Okay, so you can cheat a little bit more. V momente, keď začne sa hýbať späť tou hlavou, tak urobte o jeden, o dva kroky viac, väčší, dlhší si výbeh. Nemusíte hneď krádnuť. Nemusíte dať najavo, že teda krádnete v tom momente. Bežo na druhé mete. Rely on your coaches to help you. Your coaches. You should not be looking at shortstop second baseman. Your third base coach has to help you all the time. Sú tam sú tam kauči, ktorí majú vás majú a ktorí vám majú pomôcť. Vaša úloha nie je obzerať sa na spôsobu, čo tam robia. To je zodpovednosť third base kauči. Yes, third base kauči. A kauči na tretej metri. What first base could also help? Ale takisto o tom môže pomôcť aj kauči na prvej metri. I have a little, little sign. Yes, I was sleepy when I got here yesterday because I hadn't slept on the plane. If I do this to my, to my base runners, like I'm taking a nap, Hej, že teda trošku tu nás pílo, aby som nespal vietom, aby som unavený. Ale čo keď mám bežcov, ktorý tam na tej mete zvyklú záskoľu? What that means is the shortstop and the second baseman are not too concerned with my lead-off. Respektíve, že to je signál, ktorý ukazuje tým svojim bežcom, hej. A tým ten dáva najavo, že spojka a dvojka si ich nevšimajú. S piatom proste nepracujú. What I want my runner to do is take a shorter lead intentionally, maybe 12 feet. That means if I tell him this, take a nap, I want him to take a short lead because I am going to give him the steal maybe in two or three pitches. What I want the defense to do is forget about the runner here. Okay. Now, uh, once again, and, and guys, I don't think this is cheating, I really don't. But if the catcher is going to give you signs and he is not going to go to a series, he's just giving fastballs. Toto je to, čo ja si aj myslím, že je podvádzanie. Ak je tam catcher a ukazuje vám vždycky iba jeden signál, hej? And I forget what we do, Oliver, with the guys, but we have a little type of communication, maybe I should say. Zabolo som presne, aké máme my, ako ten spôsob komunikácie so svojimi hráčmi, ale proste... I'm sure you do this, you have your runners do this too. You have to have some kind of a communication with your hitter. Musíte mať, treba by ste mali nejaký spôsob komunikácie s tým pálkami. Base runner to the hitter. Now, what I'm saying is, your base runner is going to help out your hitter. He's going to tell the hitter what pitch is coming. And, <coughs> and I'm a hitter, and I see my base runner out there doing whatever, you know, some kind of a sign. You don't want to be obvious because your pitcher will see it. Hey. 
a, a keď som na to palkár a vidím, že teda mi dáva ten bežen signál, ale pozor, nesmie to byť príliš okaté, pretože v tom prípade si to nahádzovaš uvedomí. But if you have, if you can pick up signs from the catcher, you should have some form of communication, of, of physical communication with your hitter. Treba proste, aby si si našli nejaký spôsob tej fyzickej komunikácie s tým svojím uh, palkárom. OK, last but not least, because you have a deep lead, pretože máte hlboký výbeh, pôjde pojem pokračovať, pretože máte hlboký výbeh. On any base hit, any ball hit to the outfield, well, with two outs, it's simple, you're going to be moving. But any base hit, you are thinking about scoring. Coaches, and I will get into this here in a little bit, uh, and I think since we're running a little bit behind, I'm going to include some of this handout in my team base running drills this afternoon. But <coughs> let me just say this, third base coaches, I know there's a lot of, or there's a number of coaches in here, you have to, you have to be able to move down the line. If this is third base here, and you're... Now we've got problems, right? One hand says stop, the other hand says go. Coaches, you may not know whether you, have, whether you want to send the runner home or not, so you have to get down the line and look, 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 come on, come on, come on! When the runner is coming in, when the runner is coming in the third, and he sees the coach moving down the line, yeah. he knows that the coach has not decided yet, so he still has to remain aggressive. Okay, uh, let's go to third base. Simple things, I hope you know these, but maybe you don't. You get on third base, and obviously you are 90, you are, you know, 90, 90 feet from scoring. Coaches, again, simple reminder. Remind your pitcher, or excuse me, remind your base runner of the outs, what the situation is. Okay. Also telling him the little things like the backstop. How deep is the backstop? <coughs> when we get to the ballpark, I always like to take my fielders or have them do their own field check. A že keď prídeme na nejaké cudzie ihrisko, chcem, aby si moji hráči skontrolovali to ihrisko, vedeli, aké to ihrisko je. One of the things we look for is the backstop. What is the backstop like? Is it, you know, is it hard? Can the ball hit and come back? Jedna vec, ktorú chceme vedieť, uvedomiť si, je to, aký je backstop. Je ten backstop takýto, zvrtý, a odrej sa to nečka ihrisko späť. Is, is, is there a great distance between home plate and the backstop? Je tá veľká vzdialnosť medzi rodácov metrov, These are little things, little things that you can remind. You need to remind the baseball. Okay. Um, I think you all know this, but uh, let's go over it anyway. When you take your lead off, we're in foul territory for obvious reasons. And when we take our secondary, our momentum. This is very important. A lot of runners don't do this. Our momentum should be on the front foot leaning forward as the pitch arrives. And I, I will show you the drill that we do this afternoon uh, with base runners. Now, The weight's on the front foot for obvious reasons. If it's a wild pitch or a pass ball, I do not want you leading back to third base as the ball goes past. 
keď ten nahodovač došlapuje. Pretože chceme, aby v tom pohybe, keď nejaký pás bol, alebo nejaká odrazná lopta, aby ste boli v tom pohybe dopredu, aby sa už nevracali späť. Hej? Pretože opäť strácate... OK. Now, we have another play, where we talk about runner on third base, or runner on second and third base, is the contact play. A má ďalšiu hru, ktorú voláme, keď máme vesť na tretej mete, má druhé a tretej mete, voláme ju kontaktová hra. And I will just as a coach, I will whisper to my runner contact. Keď budem ako coach, tak šepkám svojim hráčom kontakt, kontakt. And what that means is, any ground ball, any ground ball hit the infield, I'm gone. To znamená, to znamená to to, že na akýkoľvek odpal na zem štartuje. Now, you're going to gamble. You're going to take a gamble here, but really... Je to trošku riskantné, proste je to také na... The only time you can get in trouble here is that come back into the pitch. Ale jediný moment, kedy sa dostane do problému, je keď tá otá sa dostane späť priamo na hazovač. Now, the runner's on second and third. A teraz s bežcami na druhé a tretie menete. You should be putting the contact play out of the back. A vy ste mali robiť contact play vždy. If you're the runner from third to home, and you get caught in a rundown, stay in that rundown at least long enough for the runner from second base to move up to third. Ak ste bežať na tretie mete, dostane sa do rundown, treba by ste rundown zostali aspoň tak dlho, kým ten bežec dvojky bezpečne dodane na trojku. And really, if you stay in the rundown long enough, that runner, the batter runner, can maybe even get all the way over to second base. Uh, it was situation one and first, no? Yes, no, no, the runners were on second and third. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kate, what do you say again? Okay. Kate. The runners were on second and third. Uh, and we have a contact play on. And the ball hits back to the pitcher, and the runner on third gets in a run down. Hey, I'll call him to watch a bit of a story here. from third, get in the run down. So the okay. If he stays in the run down long enough, Perhaps the bat, the batter runner, oh, yeah. will be the second base. A ak tom uh, randávne samozrejme, ak tom randávne ostane dosť dlho, tak uh, je veľká šanca, že aj ten pálka prebehne cez prvú medzi dokonca to dostane sa opäť až na dvoj. OK, one thing I didn't see is when we have our lead off, and we're in foul territory going down, when we come back, I'd like to see the runners going back to the bag in fair territory. And I think you all know that, I hope you all know that. To, čo mám rád, to, čo mám rád, je výbeh na zemnú foul teritoriu a vracame sa späť vnútrom, infieldom, hej? Myslím, že to všetci vie. For obvious reasons, I think, you know, the third base, but now has to look over here to his left. Pre niektoré určite dôvody, napríklad preto, že tým pádom sloním príhod od tej čra, hej, to metarov, kde sa musím načovať vnú a pozerať na tú loptu spoza mňa alebo okolo mňa. OK. All right, here, let, let's do this here quickly. I will get through part four, becoming a complete base runner. I want to say a couple more things about coaching tips at first and third. <coughs> and then we will do our base running drills this afternoon uh, that's in, that is in your handout. Okay, a couple of things here real quickly on the tips. Hey, challenge outfielder's arms. If the outfielder's arms are not strong, then you should be thinking about getting an extra base. whether 
he's going to catch the ball or not. If you know that the ball is over his head, you know that you're you're going. Okay. Let's go down to F. Where do we not make outs? No outs in the inning. You never want to make the first out where? Nechceme spraviť prvý out kde? Facing third base or? Na druhé mente alebo? Alebo do base or hold. Okay. That will drive coaches crazy. Toto spôsobuje to, že sa s coachom strávajú šialenstvo. So you know if you can't, if you cannot get to third base or home, be safe. If there's no outs in the inning, it's not, this is not the time to be aggressive. Takže ak si nie ste istí, či skorujete na 100%, že skorujete, tak radšej ostáte na tretnej mente. Nie je dôvod, nie je dôvod, aby vás vyautovali, keď nie žiadne áno. OK, G, disrupting a rundown. If you get into a rundown. A G, what G? Keď sa dostaneme do rundown. And I, I don't have time to bring guys up here, so just imagine this. Takže nemám, nemám to často, aby sa do, do tiahol poliarov, tak si to len predstavujte. If you are a runner in a rundown, there's two things you can do. Keď ste bežne v rundowne, sú dve veci, ktoré musíte robiť. Number one, run, run right at, directly at the man that is receiving the ball. Prvá vec je bežne priamo, ale priamo na toho hráča, ktorý ide prijímať lob, vydať lob. Chances are you're going to get hit in the back, but so what? Je šanca, že vás trafia do chrstu, ale čo potom? That's that's called taking one for the team, right? Now the second thing is, if if the if the the fielder has released the ball and he does not move out of the base path, try to not throw a forearm, but just try to run into him a little bit. Ah, ten bude sa dostava stoi a není bez sa nabok, nemuhýba vám, nesaš sa proste nokautovať ľahko, alebo niečo, ale bežte bežte priamo na. I always get confused. Is that obstruction or is that interference? I think it's interference. But who is at fault? If the fielder is at fault and if the umpire sees it, then you get the extra base. If you know that you're going to be out, you're out by five meters, three meters. Ak viete, že budete out, pretože ste out o tri metre, o päť metrov. Put the brakes on. Zabrzdite. And get into a rundown, so maybe your other runners can either move up or they can score. A dostanete sa do rundown, do a možno ešte ďalší váš spoluhráč bude schopný sa posunúť o jednu metru bližšie k tej domácej, alebo odvrtnej. Proste naďalej za čas. Nech vás tečujú oni, nenehajte sa vytočiť. Okay. Multiple base runners. The next one. Multiple base runners. Two or three base runners. Ah, veľa base to nám je tá. Dva alebo tri base runners. And we will drill this. We will drill this with our team as a at the end of our practice many times. I will put two or three runners on the bases. Trénujeme to, trénujeme to veľmi často, trénujeme to na konci, veľmi často na konci tréning. Postavím dvoch, troch bases to na metu. And I will put my outfielders out there, my infielders, and I will fungal balls. A postavím tam svoj infielder, outfielder a pálim lopičky. Now the runners have to get into the habit of reading two things. A teraz bežci musia čítať dve veci. Actually three things. The ball, the runner in front of them, and their coach. Loptu, bežca pred ním a trener. Okay. Now, and it's very, very important. We were playing, and I think I told this story, not we, but the Rock, Colorado Rockies were playing the Seattle Mariners. And one of the, well, he was not the MVP, but he had a very good year in 2001. His name was Brett Boone. Don, you heard me tell the story when I spoke in Seattle last year, but Brett Boone was on second base. Brett Boone was on second base. And somebody was on third base. And somebody was on third base. No, no, I'm sorry. Brett Boone was on first, and somebody.
somebody was on second base. A takže pardon, Brad bol na prvé a niekto bol. <coughs> and there was a there was a base hit. A bol tam jednometový hit. To I think left field. A z doľavého pola. And the the throw came in from left field pretty quickly. A ten príhod z toho ľavého pola sa dostal do nulu veľmi rýchlo. The third base coach had the signs up and could not score the, the lead runner from second base. A tretie meto vykal, vyhol ruky, pretože bol si vedomý toho, že ten bežec z druhej mety nemá šancu skorovať. Proste zastavoval na tretie mete. Guess what Brad Boone was doing from second base to third. Ale Brad ten utekal z druhej mety až na trojku. A je nepozeral sa bežal jak. He was running very hard, but there was one problem. You know where his eyes were? A bežal naozaj tak šialene rýchlo, ale bol tam jeden problém. Viete, kde boli jeho oči? Brad Boone was studying the ground. A Brad Boone študoval zem. Guess what? When Brad Boone got to second base, he realized that he had company. There was another runner there. A hádajte čo? On keď šlapol tú metu, tak... Obviously, Boom stopped, got into a rundown, they got him out, the inning was over. Now, I know Kruno knows who Lou Pinella is. <laughs> If you don't know who Lou Pinella is, he has one of the worst tempers in baseball. Lou Pinella is the manager of Seattle. A je to jeden, je to niekto, kto má najhoršiu náladu v Svietu Merinés. When Brett Boone got into the dugout, after that inning was over, keď ten Brett Boone došiel do dugoutu, a keď ako náladu proste vyautovali, bol tretí inning, konec inningu. Lou Pinella had a few things to say to him, and I don't think he was asking him over for dinner. A tento nastratý pán mu nejaké veci hovoril, a myslím si, že sa nerozprávil o tom, 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 že sa n